Grade 3 math, number 68, fractions on a number line. All right, the parts of a fraction are the top and the bottom, which are the numerator on the top and the denominator on the bottom. This is two-thirds written like this, two with a hyphen, thirds, two-thirds. So let's look at our tiny little number line first, okay? We have zero here and one is here, okay? That's one. It's split into little fifths, okay? So you can see the five is the denominator, all right? Let's get my focus here. Sorry, the focus isn't that great. The first line would be one-fifths, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, and one whole would be five-fifths, okay? Fighting with the focus here. So if we wanted to find three-fifths, we would go one, two, three, and it would be here. It would be three parts of something that was split into five parts. See? Three-fifths. So, if I wanted to find one and a, and a fourth, where would I look? Well, we need one whole one, so that means we have to get past the whole one here. So now we're here, and we need one fourth, and that would put us right here. That would be one and one fourth. See? A whole one and a fourth of one. Okay? Two and four sixths. That would be like having two whole ones, and then the last one is split into six parts, and you've got four of those parts. Two and four sixths. We need two whole ones first. One, two, and now we need four sixths. One, two, three, four. This would be two and four six right here. See? So we have a whole number and then the fraction with it, two and four six. How about just two thirds? No whole number in front of it. You've got two thirds of a candy bar. It's split into three pieces and you've got two of the three pieces. Okay? One third, two thirds. It would put us right here. This is two thirds. Because there's no whole number in front of it, see? With the whole number in front of it, you have to go the whole number first and then the fraction. Two and four, six. But if it's just the fraction, then there's, you haven't gotten to a whole number yet, see? So those are fractions on a number line. What you do is you split the big numbers, you mark your big numbers in, and then you split your big numbers into little pieces that are equal to each other, equal parts, see? Fractions on a number line. That wasn't hard, was it? Nah. Keep up the good work.